okay, I have your apple in front of me. It's really good. I want to fix um, this outer little thing that's happening right here first. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the main apple. And even though it looks like you cut it out in the main apple, I think it should be smoothed out. Okay, so let's do that first. I'm going to draw a very quick path like this. See how I'm smoothing that out. And from now on, when something like you know, I know that um, you know that, um, let me move that point. It's holding the wrong button. Let me move that point down a little bit. Okay, come around with a little bit more of a curve. There, that's gonna lean, will give a nicer edge to this apple. And we're gonna come right back up into this part and then I can just round this off. I didn't have to go around the whole apple. I just wanted to get a little bit of a fix right in that area. And let me now hold Alt and join this in. Okay, now I'll save the file <clears throat> and I'll go down. It's a work path. I'll just leave it as a work path for now and I'll make a selection of it. And then I'm going to go down to, and if it doesn't work, I'll put a layer above everything, but I'm going to add a new layer right there and I'm just going to fix that. Okay. So let's turn off this right here, which is your painting guide. Make sure I'm selected on this fix layer way at the bottom, one above your fill. Let's take the paintbrush, hit control H, and I'm just going to grab the same colors that you had here and I'm going to fill this in right here. So um, the problem is, and this is the problem, is this fill layer right there um, needs to be fixed. So I'm going to actually click to that layer. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to click to this fill layer because everything is clipped to it, but it had the bad drawing on that bottom. And don't be mad at me for saying bad drawing, but look at how now it's allowing me, even though I'm painting at 5% on the flow, look at how it's allowing me to fix that and smooth out that bottom because you wouldn't like that. I know you wouldn't like that. Now let me grab a little dark value and let's work our way across the bottom like this and across like this. And now I don't even need this layer eight, so I'm going to throw it away. I should have done that in the beginning. Okay, now that looks better on the bottom, don't you think? Okay, so before I color range, I want to tell you that I think we need a little bit more dark between, look at where you have this intense dark and then this light. So I think we need to add to it to make it a little bit better. So I'm going to do that with one layer above everything and I'll clip it. Okay, now I don't even need to make a selection of anything. So what I'm going to do is just grab this dark value, this dark, beautiful red, and I'm just going to lightly paint. I'm going to deselect. I have to deselect and I'm going to lightly paint and smooth out that transition just a little bit right there. Okay. So you see that helped out a great deal just to smooth it out. All right. Now let's come over here with the dark and you can see there's a kind of a dark ridge that runs right down here. So that's all it needed. Just just that darkness right there. Now let's color range these layers. So I'm going to like put about five of them in here and let's just um, clip them all and then I'll color them a certain color so I know they're the ones that I want to color range. So this one through this one, I'm going to right hand click and put them in any color. I don't care. So let's start with the bottom. I'll go to layer nine. Let's do the dark that's over here on this side. So how do you do it again? Well, you turn on the painting guide layer. You make a selection of the apple. Cool. All right. You enter color range. Let's grab this dark value that's right here, right here. And let's come back down a little bit like this. And um, I, I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to paint, meaning how much it's going to actually show up. So I'll have to play a plus and minus game. I have it about 89. Okay, so let's um, hit control H to turn off the selection. Remember I said always make it, if it's a dark color, make it slightly darker. If it's a light color, make it slightly lighter. Okay, let's turn off the painting guide. Let's click to layer nine and let's paint. So now, okay, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Okay, now that's getting some good texture all over here. Okay, all over here. 
Now I'll turn it off and on and we can see that that indeed did get a lot of good texture. Okay, now let's try to go after this lighter value. Okay, so that's going to be layer 10, but let's go click to the painting guide, turn it on, control click, okay, let's go to color range, and I'll try to grab this light orange here, right there. Okay, now let me come down a little bit like this. Okay, that might work beautifully. Now, let's hit control H. Now in this case, let's make it a little lighter since it's a light value. Okay, turn off painting guide, click to layer 10, and I just want some of that to show up in here, and look, it's showing up beautifully. Okay, that is exactly what I was hoping for. Just look at how gorgeous that is on this side. Okay, the last couple of things we'll do. Oh, that's beautiful. Everywhere that's beautiful. Okay, that was really nice. Really nice. Now, let's go over on this side of the apple. So we'll use layer 11 and let's get the even lighter color. So click, turn on that, control click the apple, select color range. It's our third color range. So let's come over here and grab this lighter value. Okay, that's beautiful. Just beautiful. I'll leave it at 65. Okay, let's hit control H. Remember, what do we do? Make it slightly lighter. Make sure I'm on the proper layer, which is 11. Turn off that. Am I on layer 11? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's make the brush bigger and let's paint this here. Okay, that's beautiful. It's almost too much. So we're going to, um, I'm going to paint the, uh, let me come around here. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Now it's looking funny kind of around where the shine spot is. So I'm going to go to the layer 13. We're going to get two shine spots, two. One is going to be, I'm zooming in, see this lighter pink and then the white. So don't worry about how bad it's going to look with the lighter pink. So click to that, which is your painting guide, make a selection, <clears throat> color range, Let's grab this lighter pink. Okay, perfect. Let's make it come up a little stronger. Uh, all right, I don't like what it just did. So let me redo that one. It just, cause it didn't grab enough pixels. So let me control click this one more time on color range. I probably went up a little too high. So let's grab this pixel. Okay, now say, okay, there. Hit Control H. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. So hit Control H. Remember, we make it. Oh, I'm not going to make it a little lighter. I think that's perfect. But I'm going to click to layer 13, and we're going to paint this in layer 13. Yeah, that's going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now I'm going to deselect Gaussian blur that by one. So you have to deselect first. Let's Gaussian blur it by like one or two pixels, that much right there. That's, uh, let's go to one, 1. 1.5. Click to layer, um, paint, go to, let's do the white now. So we click to the painting guide, control click, make a selection of it on the apple path, go to color range, grab the light value. Um, that's fine at 108, hit control H to turn it off, click to layer 14, and let's paint it. Oh, gorgeous. Now I'm gonna Gaussian blur that by one. So I'm gonna deselect, select, I'm sorry, filter, color, but Gaussian blur by just one, just one, just one, Brian. Okay, that's perfect. Now, look at how pretty. That is just beautiful. It needs a little bit of stuff down the center here. So what is that? Well, I think it's the light value. I'm pretty sure it's the lighter value. So let's click to layer 12 when we do it, but let's turn on the painting guide, make a selection of it. It gets to be pretty tedious, color range. Now, if we don't get anything here, we'll try something different, but let's grab this color, come way down. I think that's gonna do it right there. See it? It's about 52. But you can see how it's gonna make a selection of that center material. See that? Whoa, that was perfect. Let's lighten up on that just a little bit, like that much. 
turn off this. I said to go to layer 12, hit Control H. Now, all we're looking for is a little bit. Okay, that was perfect. It's exactly where, where I was hoping to get it. And there's your apple. I mean, that is, that is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous, really. Now, I'm gonna put a layer above everything. I'm gonna clip it, I'll tell you why. I think it needs more of this dark red right here around this top edge. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this, deselect. Now look, we're going to paint a little bit more dark around the outer part of this. Do you see what I'm doing here? Now look at your apple and see how nicely that's actually working. See how I'm darkening the right hand side? See how the right hand side's darker on the apple? Cool. Let's go a little bit more here and then just a little bit down here. Okay, beautiful. And that's it, that's it. There's your apple. That is gorgeous. So I don't know if I used all of these layers, but I think I did. So these two were for the shine. This one was for the center. This one was for the left, which is really the, I'll just point to it over there, okay? This one was for the center again, and this one was for the right-hand side, which I know I'm saying it all backwards. Okay, that's fine. I hope you liked it, and let me know if that helped.